Ok, necesito ropa elegante para un evento importante. Hmm. ¿Esta camisa o esta camisa? Hmm. Esta camisa es perfecta. También necesito zapatos. ¿Estos zapatos o estos zapatos? Estos zapatos son perfectos. Hmm. Excelentes opciones para un evento importante. Hola, mi gente. In this lesson, we'll talk about clothes in a more specific way, naming common items individually. I'm going to show you how to ask questions about unknown items and how to give the answers so that later on you can answer the questions by yourself. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to ask and answer questions to identify different clothing items based on proximity. Make sure you have a copy of page four of the PDF to work on the vocabulary. So are you ready? Vámonos! Let's get right into it. To ask a question about an item you don't know, you need to keep in mind how close you are or your proximity to the item. Are you holding the item or is it near you? Or is the item far away from you? If you're holding the item or if it's near you, you're going to ask, ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Esto is a neutral word to ask about something, not someone, something near you when you don't know if the word to name the item is masculine or feminine. El or la. Repeat after me. ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Good. Now, on step one of your sheet, look at the images showing the proximity of items and write this question in the corresponding blank. Feel free to pause the video at any time. Go ahead. You got it? Okay, this is what you should have. Awesome. Next question. Let's say the unknown item is far away from you. Then you're going to ask, ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Eso is also a neutral way to ask about that thing that you don't know if it's masculine or feminine. So, repeat after me. ¿Qué es eso? Great. Now, write the question on your sheet. Now, what if you want to ask about several items? Good question. If the items are near, you're going to ask, ¿Qué son estos? Look what you already have on your sheet and guess the meaning of estos. You got it? Estos means these. What are these? Use estos to ask about plural things near you in a neutral way. Say it with me, and then write it down. ¿Qué son estos? Good. Now, check your sheet again and try to infer how to ask in a neutral way about plural items far away from you. You got it? The correct question is, ¿Qué son esos? What are those? Say it with me. ¿Qué son esos? Good. So far, we have seen four neutral questions to ask about something based on proximity. Repeat each question after me. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es eso?
¿Qué son estos? ¿Qué son esos? Excelente, my friend. Now, you're going to use those questions to identify the clothing items on step two of your sheet. I'll show you the item, and then you are going to ask me what it is based on how close it is to me. Then, I will show you how to answer the question so that you can complete the missing information on your sheet. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. Are you ready? Here we go. What question from step one would you ask me for the item you see? You should have asked, ¿Qué es eso? Una camisa. Esa es una camisa. I'm saying esa because camisa is feminine and it's far away from me. So say it with me. Esa es una camisa. Now, if the shirt is near you, then you would say, esta es una camisa. Repeat it with me. Esta es una camisa. Good job. It's important to note that when you ask the question, you must use a neutral word because you don't know if the word to name the item is masculine or feminine yet. But when we give the answer, we do know. So the word has to change accordingly. Got it? Now, ask me a question for the item on screen. ¿Qué son estos? Unas camisetas. Say camisetas with me. Camisetas. We have several camisetas, and based on their close proximity and their feminine gender, we're going to say, estas son unas camisetas. Now, if the t-shirts are far away, then you would say, esas son unas camisetas. So, repeat it with me. Estas son unas camisetas. Esas son unas camisetas. Awesome! You're doing great! Now, let's see another item. Go ahead and ask me. ¿Qué es esto? Un abrigo. Say abrigo with me. Abrigo. Abrigo. Now, do you think abrigo is masculine or feminine? It's masculine. Un abrigo. And it's near us. So we're going to say, este es un abrigo. Este is the word that we use for something singular, masculine, and that is nearby. So, say it with me. Este es un abrigo. Now, if the coat is far away from you, then we would say, Ese es un abrigo. Let's say it together. Ese es un abrigo. Great. Now, check out this item and ask me about it. ¿Qué son esos? Unos pantalones. Say pantalones with me. Pantalones. Pantalones. Esos son unos pantalones. We're talking about something masculine, plural, and that is far away from us. So, say with me. Esos son unos pantalones. Notice that in the case of plural and masculine, we answer with the same word as in the question. ¿Qué son esos? Esos son unos pantalones. If the pants are nearby, then we say, ¿Qué son estos? Estos son unos pantalones. So, say each statement after me. 
esos son unos pantalones. Estos son unos pantalones. Excelente. I think we should practice some more together. But this time, I'm going to ask the questions and then you are going to answer them. Use your worksheet to answer and don't worry, I'm going to help you along the way with some hints. Are you ready? Here we go. ¿Qué es eso? Hint, please. Un suéter. Un suéter. Now, pause the video, write down your answer, and then say it out loud. You got it? The answer is, ese es un suéter. Suéter is actually a word that Spanish borrowed and adapted from English. Suéter. Pretty cool, right? Let's do another one. ¿Qué son estos? Help, please. Unos zapatos. Unos zapatos. Now, put it together. The answer is, estos son unos zapatos. Zapatos means shoes. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Now, let's recap the wonderful things that you learned today. In this lesson, you learned to ask and answer questions to identify different clothing items based on their proximity. You did awesome, my friend. Keep practicing, and I promise you, you're going to get better and better. Until then, I'll see you next class. Ciao. Nos vemos. Hey.